Welcome to Amphenol RF's Import Procedure How-To Video. My name is Robert and I'm an RF engineer at Amphenol RF. Let's jump right into it. To begin, please note you must be using the 3D component model version that is compatible with your version of ANSYS HFSS software. Our 3D component models that are available on the website are compatible with ANSYS HFSS 2022. For 3D components compatible with HFSS 2023, please reach out to customer service. Contact information is available at the end of the video. To use 3D component models, open an HFSS design, navigate to the draw option, select 3D component library, then click browse. A pop-up will appear where you will navigate to the folder containing the 3D component model. Select the file with A3DCOMP file type, then click Open. A prompt will pop up asking for a password. Enter Amphenol in all lowercase, then click OK. Another prompt will pop up asking for the desired coordinate system defaulting to global. Click OK to insert the 3D component into the global coordinate system. Select the entire component via the side menu and position the component so it is flush with the board. Ensure that no objects are interfering with the component. If parts of the board must be cut away from the connector, a step file is available on the website to use for Boolean operations. In some cases, a small amount of solder is already modeled on the center pin. If an accurate solder model is needed, solder can be modeled on the pad around the center pin as desired. Solder will also need to be modeled around the ground pins of the connector. The mated connector interface is modeled within the component. The import wave port is embedded within the 3D component at the interface. The face of the connector must be against the edge of an air box or a perfect conductor. The simulation can now be run as normal and the PCB launch can be optimized for best performance with the connector. For further information, help, or requests, please contact Amphenol RF.